In this video, we're going to complete example two. It says, on March 22nd, 2020, the number of COVID-19 cases in Australia seemed to peak and then decline in numbers. So this is talking about exponential decay. This decline can be modeled using the formula C equals 537 times 0 0.922 to the power of n, where C represents the predicted number of COVID-19 cases for a day, and n represents the number of days since March 22nd. So we'll get into question A, which says, how many COVID-19 cases would we predict Australia to have on April 1st? Now, this is 10 days after March 22nd. So the first thing we're going to do is copy the formula down. C equals 537 times 0 0.922 to the power of n. And we're looking at 10 days later, which means n equals 10. So we'll go 537 times 0 0.922 to the power of 10. Bringing up our calculator, 537 times 0 0.922 to the power of 10. This gives us 238. We'll round it to a whole number. So 238. So we predict that 10 days later, on April 1st, we should have only 238 cases because we want the cases to decrease. Moving now on to question B, it says, how many COVID-19 cases would we predict Australia to have on May 21st? This is 60 days after March 22nd. So once again, we copy the formula down. C equals 537 times 0 0.922 to the power of N. And this time it's 60 days later. So N will be 60. Now, because in this example we're modelling exponential decay, this number should be a lot smaller this time. So we'll bring up our calculator, 537 times 0 0.922 to the power of 60. And it comes out to about 4. So we're predicting that on May 21st, we should only have 4 cases. We'll now move on to question C. It says complete the table of values below, then draw the graph for C equals 537 times 0.922 to the power of n. So we need to go one row at a time. So in the first row, n equals 0. So we'll type that in our calculator here. 537 times 0.9 to 2 to the power of 0 and that comes out to 537. 10 days later we've already calculated that we found that when n was 10 we had 238 cases. Let's do the next row, next column sorry, when n equals 20. So this time it's 537 times 0 0.922 to the power of 20. And we get about 106 cases this time. So we can see the cases going down, which is what we want to see. It's exponential decay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause and finish this off. I'd like you to do the same. All right, we've filled in our table of values. And now we need to graph this. So we'll start with the horizontal axis, which needs to range from 0 through to 50, which is not too hard to do. If we go to every second square, we go 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And this is going to be our n axis. And then when we look at our c axis, which is our vertical axis here, it needs to get as high as 537. So I'm going to go up by hundreds. 
100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. So we'll start labeling our points now. So the first point being when n is 0, c is 537. Now our graph only goes as high as 500, so we're just going to have to go off the graph a little bit, which is okay. The next point when n is 10, c is 238. So we'll label that one, it's about here. And then when n is 20, c is 106. When n is 30, c is 47. When n is 40, c is 21. And when n is 50, c is only 9. And when you're finished, you should have an exponential decay curve, like the one I've got here. Now moving on to question D. After how many days from March 22nd, do you think Australia should have waited before easing the lockdown restrictions and why? Now, the answer to this question is up to you, but for me personally, I think that we really needed to wait until we were very close to zero. So when we look at our graph here, where n equals 50 is not a very bad spot to start easing the restrictions. So I'll write about when n equals 50, or 50 days after March 22nd. And why? Why do I think this? It's because we are approaching zero cases here. And when you're approaching zero cases, then it becomes okay to at least ease the lockdown restrictions. Anyway, that concludes our video on example two. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.